Welcome to the tour video of the Employee Leave Manager Excel template from inzara.com. This video is about the first version of this product. Please visit the product page link provided in the video description to see the latest version of the template. In this video, I will provide an overview of the template, its features and benefits. We will also take a quick tour of the template. This leave manager template is designed to manage leave tracking of employees in an organization. One Excel file, simplified data entry, automated calculations, printable reports and dashboards to make smarter decisions, leave management simplify. If you are a HR manager or a team manager, you can also use this for planning by having visibility to availability of team members in the upcoming month. Here is the framework used in this template. You will enter the settings as a one-time setup, choose how many leave types, name the leave types, choose the weekends and holidays for your organization, select the reporting period, and also enter the entitlement setup. The second phase is ongoing data entries. Enter any employee data for employees who join the organization and also update the employee data if they leave. Enter leave dates for each employee when they plan to take leave. The third phase is the automated reports and dashboards. The balance report shows leave balance for every employee. Daily report shows who's available and who's not for a specific date. The employee report allows us to view the report for one employee for the entire reporting period with specific leave dates and also current balance. The team dashboard shows the availability of all the employees in a chosen month. Now let's go and take a live look at the template. So this is our template. This is the first sheet, which is the info sheet, which provides the links to relevant support material for this template, such as articles we recommend reading before you start using the template, a detailed step-by-step -step user guide, and also frequently asked questions and other supporting articles about this template. In the setting sheet, we can enter the different leave types. You can name them how you want for your organization. You can also choose whether you want to assign balance tracking for a specific leave type. In this case, I have chosen no for certain leave types such as offsite and training because they don't they should not be reducing the leave balance for my employees the colors are automatically chosen depending on which of the 12 leave types you're choosing the colors will automatically be applied the weekends can be chosen according to your organization you can choose each of the weekdays as whether it's a weekend or not true would be a weekend false would be a weekday the weekends and the holidays we enter here do not count against the leave balance. So if your vacation or the leave overlaps with a holiday or a weekend, then they will not be reducing your leave balance. Reporting period can be typed in here. The maximum reporting period at a time is 12 months. But once you finish the 12 months, you can change the start and end date again and continue to use this template for the next year as well. There are two types of entitlement setup, so you can do a total entitlement, meaning the total leave allowed for an employee is 15 days in this case, or I can say I want to set up my limits for each leave type, and then I can enter the specific entitlement for each leave type. This is a one-time setting you do once every reporting period and then we move into the next ongoing data entry which would be all the employees and then their start date when they started working in the organization. The end date is optional. If the employee leaves the organization then put in the end date otherwise leave as empty and then you can see the different custom columns meaning you can name these however you want. You can also enter the values as you need and you can also add columns if these are not sufficient then we move into the leave sheet which is where we enter all the leave entries for your employees the employee name 
start of leave, end of leave. So if the employee is taking a multi-day leave, you do a start and end date, which would capture that. If the employee is and taking a one day off, then you would still enter the start and end date to be the same date. For example, employee three is taking 15th May for medical leave type, and this is how we will enter that. You can and you would enter the leave value, daily leave value, meaning this leave entry is one day for every day in that leave duration. And you can also enter half a day by entering 0.5. The template supports partial days of leave as well. You can enter notes and then similar to the employee sheet, you can add more columns and then uh, rename them as you need for leave entries. There are four types of validation errors which will be immediately displayed if there is an error. So if your leave start is after the employee's finished employment or if your leave starts before the employee even started employment or if the leave ends before the leave starts. So these type of data entry errors will be highlighted in different colors. And if the template can also support makeup days, meaning you can actually enter a negative value here, the negative value would indicate that employee is doing a makeup day. So this might, this would be a holiday for the company, but the employee is working during holidays. So in this case, you would actually put negative one. And if you mistakenly put negative one for a working day, then this would be get highlighted as makeup day in working day error. So essentially there are validation errors that are inbuilt to help you with data entry errors and highlight them so that you can fix them. Then we move into the four automated reports and dashboards. So the first one is the balance report. In this case, I can actually show all the employees and I have options here to say display entitled value, number of days or use number of days or balance. And depending on what I choose, my values will change here. And I can also filter by any of these fields and I can put in a specific location and the report will only show employees from that location. And it doesn't have to be location, you can do it by department and then now you can choose only finance department by doing this. And this column is custom column, so I can actually choose to show the department and you can see that it's finance. If I want to see all employees from sales, I would type in sales. And if I want to see everybody, then I don't type in any filter value. Now I can see all the employees. And if you if I change it to balance and you'll see that if the employee has negative balance, meaning they have taken more leave than allowed, then you will see the red color indicating so that it helps you to take action on it. Now let's move to the daily report. The daily report allows you to type in a specific date and I can see if that is a weekend or a holiday will show up here. You can also see the total summary, how many days of leave and everything for this specific day. And it'll also show the total number of employees who have leave entries. And here we have four em employees with leave entries and you can see the leave type and then the leave value. And you'll also see the leave values, even the ones that do not affect the balance. For example, this employee 27 is on training during that day and you will still see that. So you'll, you'll be able to see which employees will not be available for that day. Next, we move to the employee report. So the employee report, as the name indicates, you can choose the one employee and you will see the entries, the leave entries on the calendar, like which days of the year did they take vacation or leave. And then the specific color indicates what type of leave and then It'll also show the value. So if you have taken a half a day, it'll get displayed as 0.5 here, for example. And then you have the total um, balance used and entitlement for that employee for the reporting period. And then the on the right, you will see the summary by each leave type by month. So you'll know, for example, this employee took two and a half days of vacation in March half a day of sick day in March. The On the top here, you will see the total entitled for this employee used to leave and then the balance. 
It will also show the number of days the employee actually worked. Next, we go to the monthly team dashboard. And in the monthly team dashboard, the purpose here is for a specific month, the manager can understand the capacity of the team by looking at all the employees availability for that month. And you will see that all the employees are listed here and you can choose another custom column if you want to look at for the specific view. And then you can also filter only to see a specific set of employees and their availability. And now what you see here is the calendar displaying the type of leave that they are taking in different colors. And then the summary, how many days are they taking for each leave type. And then towards the right, you will see the total leave taken by the employees for that month and also the number of days that they are planning to work during that month. And the template will display up to 100 employees at a time. And then if you want to display more, you can change to the second page to see the next 100. Totally, the template supports currently 500 employees in one file. You can change the month to any month so that you can plan your capacity for that month for your team. Let's do a quick recap. The template makes leave management simple. It is a simple Excel book with no macros where you can enter the data and immediately get all these automated reports and dashboards with all the calculations automated. You don't have to do anything at all. And it's very practical with data validations built in, allowing you to customize holidays and weekends for your organization. And it's very practical because it supports employees joining and leaving. You can change the reporting periods. You can also enter multi-day leave entries in a simple way. You can print or export the dashboards and share with your team members as needed. These are the limits of the template. So it's currently it supports 500 employees, 5,000 leave entries, and then also the reporting period maximum would be 12 months at a time. Once the 12 months are over, you can change the reporting period for the next 12 months and continue to use the file. The template requires Excel for Windows or Excel for Mac. It also works in Excel online. When you post it on your OneDrive and view online, it would still work. Recapping the benefits, it simplifies and streamlines your process of managing leave. It saves you a lot of time and the dashboards are effective in making smart decisions about leave in your organization. It saves you money because you don't have to buy any costly software which has monthly subscriptions. This is one file, one time purchase, you download and then you can use it for life. All of this is within the familiarity of Microsoft Excel, so you can easily ramp up and quickly start using. Within a few minutes after downloading, you are ready to manage your leave in a simple and effective way. You can see more details about this product in the product page link. I will provide the link in the video description, and you can visit our site, nzara.com, and also email support at nzara.com if you have any questions. Watch the product demo video next where I will be demonstrating how to enter data step-by-step step into this template. Thank you very much for watching.